South Africa has a fascinating history, which I'll try and sum up for you now, uh, but I'll do it quickly so you don't get the feeling that, you know, I'm giving you information or <laughs> all of the stuff that you don't come to this show for. <laughs> Basically, South Africa, as I understand it, is a little bit like this. Uh, things were going uh, fine for the people living there uh, until the Dutch showed up in about the 17th century. And they started colonizing. Now, by the way, colonizing is an old-fashioned word that means stealing stuff from countries that don't belong to you. <laughs> and it wasn't the cool Dutch people that we know today. It wasn't the kind of... It wasn't, you know, with the legal marijuana and their armpit hair and their relaxed attitude about boobies. These are... Uh, that, that wasn't... No, these were the old-fashioned Dutch people, the, the bastards, you know, they were angry, they were uptight, they bullied people. They could have used some of that legalised marijuana that they're so fond of. <laughs> it's funny how the minute the Dutch legalised the marijuana, they stopped, you know, colonising and just kind of chilled out and went, oh, it's okay. <laughs> I'm not endorsing it, I'm just saying, interesting, isn't it? Anyway, in the mid-19th century, the Dutch colonies of South Africa suffered a horrendous catastrophe that made a bad situation even worse. That catastrophe was known as the British arriving. <laughs> the, Br <laughs> the British... The British... Ah, oh, tell me. Ah, the British... <laughs> they got around. I, uh, the British, what they do is they sailed out to South Africa and they saw a land rich in diamonds and gold and they said, I say, this place is splendid. What we should, we should call it, what we should, we, I love it here. We, all we have to do is just kill the Dutch people. Uh, which basically uh, led to the first Boer War, and then that uh, led to the second Boer War. Uh, that was Boer War to the legend of Curly's Gold. Uh, that, that happened. Yikety-yak, stuff happens, Boer War, World War I, World War II, uh, you know, 1948, I think, the uh, National Party takes over in South Africa, Institute Apartheid, their great idea, and then... Uh, by the 1980s, South Africa was a racist hell zone. Uh, Nelson uh, Mandela was sentenced to life in a South African prison. So uh, Desmond Tutu travelled all over the world, making the argument that doing business with a racist South African regime was immoral. And there were a few holdouts. Most people were like, you're right, we won't do it. But there were a few holdouts, people who opposed sanctions against South Africa. They were uh, Margaret Thatcher, uh, Darth Vader, and... <laughs> I think, I think Goldfinger as well, he was like, what? No, I, I have to do, did Goldfinger talk like that? I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking of Cheney. I, I get them mixed up. Anyway. Oh, shut up. Anyway, the, uh, what happened is that uh, Bishop Tutu succeeded in getting dozens of nations to enact tough uh, sanctions that hit the apartheid regime right in the trousers. And <laughs> in the end, uh, apartheid crumbled, Nelson Mandela was released from prison and was elected president. Mandela even, in, this is an well, amazing story, Nelson Mandela invited a man who tried to have him executed to his inauguration. That's got to be awkward. <laughs> you, that's like inviting your ex-wife to your wedding. <laughs> it's kind of like, so... How's things since you tried to have me killed? Not bad, chicken or fish. Uh...